What's going on, everybody? here, and welcome to a look at something new, something that kind of caught me off guard. There was an update for Subnautica. That's right, Subnautica, not Below Zero, Subnautica, the first one. There was an update, and we're going to check it out today. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat, and hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Before we dive into anything, before we dive into anything, we got to give a huge shout-out to the sponsor of this video. And before we get going any further, we got to give a huge shout-out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Now, if you've never heard of HelloFresh, HelloFresh delivers fresh recipes for delicious meals right to your doorstep. And when I say fresh recipes, I mean very fresh. HelloFresh recipes include ripe, just-picked produce that travels straight from the farm to your door in less than a week. My personal favorite thing about HelloFresh is having the food delivered right to your doorstep so you don't have to go out, you don't have to go shopping, you don't have to do any of that. You can get your work done, enjoy yourself at home, and have your food delivered right to your doorstep. And it is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant or grocery shopping, according to a Zagat Dining Survey. So use my link in the description down below and use code POGZ1DEC70 for 70% off plus free shipping on your first box. And if you're still not sure HelloFresh is for you, HelloFresh offers a veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. So huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. So go to my link in the description down below and use POGZ1 December DEC70. That's POGZ1 DEC70 for 70% off and free shipping on your first box. So huge shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's dive on in, shall we? So we've got the living large update. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just talk about a few things. We're gonna look at some things and uh, we're gonna build some things. I am in creative mode because um, I, I haven't been playing Subnautica, so like I don't have all the stuff and all the things, but as far as I know, we have now got access to the large room. So the large room was something that we didn't have access to before. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just throw a room up here. Let's do a little bit of base building kind of quickly and kind of just get something thrown together. It may be prudent to separate work and leisure spaces. Uh, yeah, it might be prudent to do that. Let's go ahead. Where is our hatch? Let's get a hatch in here. Let's get that, and then let's get a large room. Oh my gosh, I love the large rooms. I think they are super neat, they're super cool. So we go ahead, um, let's go ahead and let's get another one here. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, you can double stack, and we also have the large room glass dome on it as well. So now the whole the whole roof can be glass. Now, where do you get these in uh, survival mode? Well, here, let's actually pop in here. Let's take a peek around. Let's look around for a little bit. Uh, do I have any power? Oh, well, it's you were in creative mode. So you are going to get this at the same time that you actually get the um, the multipurpose room. So once you unlock the multipurpose room, you'll actually, I believe, from what I read and from, you know, from the from the notes I checked, you will actually unlock the uh, the large glass room. Now, I do believe that the glass room dome is going to be unlocked with the dome. I think the rooms with the room and the glass parts with the glass part. Now, I it's been a while since I played, so I'm not 100% sure uh where the glass parts are. I know where the multipurpose room is at. The multipurpose room is on the spoilers island. <laughs> it's on the island. So, uh but here we have our actual room. Now, this is a two-story one, so I should actually be able to go ahead and throw in a ladder here. We go up here and then oh, these looks I you know I love how neat these look. These just look so cool. You know what? We could do better than this. Oh, we could do so much better than this. Let's go take a journey. Let's go build something somewhere a little, uh, a little spicier, shall we? All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go uh, build somewhere. Like I said, a little, little spicier. Um, I gotta remember how to get there though. It's, it's been a while. Okay, it's been a little while. I. I think I know where I'm going, but I'm not. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. Ah, oh, here we go. Now something's looking a little familiar. <laughs> I was uh, a little lost there for a bit. I was like, man, where the heck is the entrance to? I mean, there's multiple entrances to the Lost River, but you know, we, we gotta. I just have to remember one of them. And I believe this is one right in here. Yeah, I think this is it right here. Perfect. So there is a couple places that we could build in here, but there's there's one place that's always uh, it looks so it looks so nice. Now we could build in the lava zone, and I actually was gonna originally build in the lava zone, hence the spicy reference. But I think there's a prettier place that we could build that'll look just nicer. Uh, 
Yeah, it'll be it'll be cool. Oh, look at our friends. Look at our super spooky friends. You know, the first time, man, I remember. The, how, who, how many people played Subnautica when it first came out? The first time coming down in here and seeing those things. Oh, my gosh. They were terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Um, I think this might be where we get our glass dome. Is this where we get the glass dome? Oh, maybe it's not. Okay. Uh, I don't see. Somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. And one giant skeleton. <laughs> uh, you know what? I made a wrong turn. Oh, well, hello there, ghosty Leviathan. How are you doing today? Can you imagine this Leviathan? Oh, this thing would be huge. Of organic and fossilized remains. Like, they could make a whole game of you getting eaten by this thing and then, like, playing inside of its stomach. Oh, <laughs> that'd be terrible. Hello there, other Leviathan. You're not quite as scary. All right, here we go. This is where I was thinking we should build. This is a, such a nice looking area. Now, the problem is that my sea moth really can't go down that far. Actually, in creative mode, how far can the sea moth go down? Will it still be crushed by the depths? No, it won't. Actually, that's fantastic. Uh, so this area, I think, would make a super cool little area. We're going to throw up a base right here. And uh, I just kind of want to show you, like, man, with the big room and the glass dome and everything, how cool this could be. All right, so let's throw this glass dome on here. Do something like that. Let's actually get a, should we get another one side by side? Let's do another side by side one. Why not? Make this place feel real big. There's that, there's this. That looks good. Let's throw a scanner room on here. Just, just to kind of, you know, make the, make it all feel homey. Okay, so we've got that. Where is my sea moth? We're gonna park that guy into the, uh, the, the moon pool here. Now, obviously if we were this deep, we'd have the, um, We'd have the prawn suit, but you know, well, we don't, and we're in creative because why not? Welcome aboard, Captain. I mean, come on, tell me that is not, uh, tell me that is not super cool with all the ghost rays and stuff flying around you. Oh, that's super cool. You're infected. Get out of here, you nasty. All right. So other things that's actually pretty cool about this is what they added is they added all the interior pieces as well. So we've got interior modules. So we've got large room petitions and these these go into um so the only way that you can get them like hooking to the walls i believe is from this point right here so like it has to hook onto this line i don't think you can do a half partition like right here if that makes any sense so let's throw some partitions in here let's do let's do this All right, so we are making a bathroom, right? So let's get a door in here. Um, well, there we go. All right, so let's get a door and let's see what else. What do we do? We even have like, no, I think I'm thinking of modded. I don't think we have, um, we don't have like, like bathroom blueprints and stuff like that, do we? No, we don't. Uh, let's <laughs> we'll make this a bedroom then. We'll make it a bedroom because why not? You always need bedrooms. Uh, we could have a throw a picture frame up here that has nothing. Can we throw a wall? Can we throw a no? We can't throw one of those walls in here. Uh, let's we'll throw a, a shelf and Jack Septic Eye. Why not? He's backwards, but whatever. Maybe a coffee machine. And like a nightstand, boom, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look how cool it looks. But it's it's cool because like you have these little partitions and stuff like that. Now, without the glass dome, this goes to this this goes all the way to the top. Um so with I mean guess I guess with, with this you could like you could peek over, but I mean I don't think anybody's really gonna do that, you know. Just saying. Uh and then let's see, there's some other actually really cool things too that we can do here. So we get these nice elongated aquariums. Aquariums. And it's actually kind of cool because you could throw uh, you could throw walls. Let me see. Is this gonna allow this? Oh, hold on, hold on. 
there we go so you could throw like you could throw these like this oh this isn't going to connect because this is right here uh but you you see what i mean you could you could have it to where it's like the aquarium is the other room so it's kind of neat kind of cool oh uh, no hold on let me let, let's do this let's build that let's grab a a hatch and then we'll throw a hatch on this side over here so essentially what you could do is actually here can we can we i want to make this like work i mean okay let's just pretend the oh no how will i ever get on the other side you could swim through an aquarium like <laughs> you could have an aquarium entrance to uh to your base i don't know it's just kind of fun stuff it's just, it's just kind of neat stuff so let's go ahead we could deconstruct some of these guys so um you have the ability to have this kind of stuff it's really cool it's really neat now the other thing that i kind of wish was enabled is i wish you could double stack them and then have them be like um a, just a double tall room instead of having it two separate floors but you know i get i get it i get it so yeah there is there's that now there's a ton of other changes as well and i'm gonna have um i'm gonna try to have the patch notes linked down below but the main thing here was this double this large room this room was never available to us um and it was always so cool below zero added it and it was very neat very cool now there there's other things that they did add too they added a whole bunch of optimizations they did they did, did a lot of changes to the game this is like their 2.0 update uh making things just run better run nicer so yeah exciting things nonetheless now the other thing that i do want to mention is if you are about to drop drop into this uh this this live in large update be careful because with all of these new changes with everything going on there are a lot of mods that are no longer going to work um that is just the name of the game that's how it's going to work but yeah what do you guys think leave a comment down below let me know what you think are you going to be playing some nautica again are you playing the live in large update are you enjoying it or is um is it too late subnautica done and, and you've already had your fun with it i don't know like this update isn't really bringing me back into subnautica i'm i'm currently enjoying below zero so i don't know leave a comment down below let me know what you think i'm interested i'm curious and again a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video hellofresh link down below all the fun stuff but uh yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you next time